Business is not easy. Um, it is not true that when you have a business, you'll be your own boss. You have to put yourself in the position where you serve others and that should be your frame of mind. Otherwise, it won't work, especially if you're in social enterprise. Social entrepreneurship could be defined as uh, a, a business that engages in business activity that in the process supports a community or the community is integrated into a business, into the business processes. I always knew that I would be working with communities because um, the materials that I use for my products are made by small communities. Um, one of the weaves I use now is the Hablon from Negros. It's a very beautiful textile but it has not been used so much. So I wanted to use in the shoes and hope that people will appreciate it more. We realized early on that we shouldn't go to communities with the feeling that we're going to save the world or with the feeling that we are their saviors. You are there with artisans who have hopes and dreams for their families. They are resilient, amazing, and hopeful. Given another situation, they'd be very successful. But they're there because of circumstance, because of where they were born, the opportunities that were given to them. So for all of us, we go back to our why. We think about the artisans that we are in partnership with. We think about the country that we are building. Every time that I see people wearing the shoes and being proud that the shoes are made of local materials and they're proud to say to their friends and their family that, hey, this is Philippine made. It inspires me more because um, I come from this, um, when I was younger, I come from this generation that people didn't really support local. Um, like when I was growing up, people supported more imported products. When they see that a product is Philippine made, they don't want to buy it. It's social entrepreneurship, while it's known to many, is not that well known yet to the majority of the population. That's why I think it's a great idea for malls to give venues for social enterprises in those pop-up stores. Having a pop-up store? It's an awesome opportunity for us to get to know the market, to know what they want, and to be competitive and to have better products. Personally, I grew up, I'm from Iloilo, from the province, and every time I come to Manila, Glorieta is the mall to go. I would want to put up a store in a store that I frequented when I was small. So when the opportunity to, to place a store in Glorieta presented itself, we were naturally very thrilled about it. Actually, Glorieta was our first um, physical store with our own name. We opened um, December 2013. From my past experiences, a lot of my clients would come from that area. Some would come from the Desma area, from, um, from, from the surrounding villages of Glorieta. So it's easy for them. It becomes accessible. We have been very happy with our store in Glorieta. Of course, we want to expand that. And we're very excited to have, hopefully, bigger spaces in Glorieta one day. Well, the Glorieta store is, I think, very unique in the sense that the diversity of people there is just so rich. Glorieta is situated in Ayala, in Makati, the business district of the Philippines. And then people there from all walks of life, from all places, from now besides and so on, to even foreigners from Europe, from Asia. When I talk to our store personnel, they never, they never run out of stories about Glorieta. As a social enterprise, as we expand the market, we inevitably expand our impact. So these malls who welcome us with open arms and who become very helpful and supportive of us are not just part of the retail business, they're part of the nation-building business. It's definitely challenging, but at the end of every hard-working day, challenging day, we know that it's worth it. <laughs>